Right now, we're in a pretty interesting spot, the Fallout franchise overall, as we really have no clue when the next Fallout game is actually coming out. In a few months, it'll be three years since the release of Fallout 76, and there is a legitimate timeline where the next Fallout game doesn't actually come until 2030, marking a 12-year gap in between games. But at the same time, we also know a couple of interesting tidbits that could fill in along the way. We know Bethesda is working on some kind of unannounced title. We've seen this from multiple sources at this point, and there are actually several leaks that another company under the Microsoft umbrella is working on Fallout. And that's actually pretty interesting because these aren't just random people, but people who have actually correctly predicted things in the past already. So in this video, what I want to do is summarize all of the leading speculation, some of the known facts about the situation, and really try and lay out when we might see the next Fallout game. Give you a couple of potential dates and times timelines that could come to fruition over the next few years or perhaps even in the next decade. So really all of this concern and mystery centers around Bethesda Game Studios and Starfield. When Bethesda Game Studios just had Fallout and the Elder Scrolls, it made sense for them to more or less just alternate games. You got an Elder Scrolls game, then you got a Fallout game, then another Elder Scrolls game, etc. But now throwing Starfield into the mix, there's a real potential that we just don't see another Fallout game from Todd Howard and the poor Maryland studio until 2030 or so. But at the same time, of course, Microsoft just bought Bethesda for $7.5 billion. One of the most successful and highest grossing games of all time was Fallout 4, and Fallout Shelter is their most played game of all time. Is Microsoft, with all of its studios and all of its manpower, really just gonna sit on this IP? For better or worse, probably the safest and most realistic timeline, and probably the least exciting, is we don't actually get a new full-fledged Fallout 5 until 2030, perhaps not at all. Skyrim and the Elder Scrolls franchise are going through something similar with a 15 or so year break in between games, which is pretty astonishing. And we basically know that Bethesda knew this. They were looking at their timeline, planning out their future games, and they saw that, okay, the next Elder Scrolls game after Skyrim is going to be pretty far out. And this seems to be a big motivating factor for the creation of the Elder Scrolls Online. They make ESO, it's a games as a service game that is constantly getting updates and new content. So over the past 10 years since Skyrim, about half of that or a little more has been filled up by ESO content if you are a diehard Elder Scrolls fan. And we've actually had this somewhat confirmed via leaks. The one person to successfully leak Fallout 76 a full year before it actually was revealed said the reason there was no Elder Scrolls game coming is because ESO was doing so well. So Bethesda didn't really see a need to make another one for the time being. And seemingly with that successful strategy behind them, Bethesda Game Studios did the exact same thing with Fallout 76. They knew there would be a large gap between Starfield, the next Elder Scrolls game, so the next Fallout game is a ways away. Fallout 76 will now act as this game that they can consistently update, add more content to, and continue to monetize the Fallout IP. But even if you think back to that original marketing cycle with Fallout 76, they kept talking about how the game would be around forever. And although it probably won't actually be around forever, it seems like that was a core part of their plan with the game. This was the Fallout game that was supposed to last for a decade or so, similar to what the Elder Scrolls on Online did before it. And we know this game has been quite successful. As Microsoft has described, that it is the most played game on Game Pass right now. And even further, if Starfield ends up being a massive success, you have to imagine Bethesda is gonna want to do a Starfield too. Although there is a giant but in this whole equation, because while this is all being decided a couple of years after the release of Fallout 76, Microsoft bought Bethesda. So although perhaps when it was just Bethesda and Zenimax, they didn't really see an avenue to have a new Fallout game, now that there is Microsoft off behind them, it does seem like the possibility goes up significantly for another Fallout. And in general, it just doesn't really seem like Fallout 76 is getting as much content or is not as successful overall compared to ESO right now. We heard recently how ESO was the highest grossing game for Bethesda over the past few years. And even just as a simple example, ESO is getting a next-gen upgrade, and despite the fact that Fallout 76 is four years newer, there are no plans for a next-gen upgrade, at least right now. And one of the first big instances of this is we know that Bethesda Game Studios and even more specifically Bethesda Game Studios Austin is working on something new. We saw this on several LinkedIn profiles with some kind of unannounced project. We also know there's some kind of mobile game in the works. These could be connected, but also one of the key pieces we have is a DevOps engineer at Bethesda Game Studios Austin worked on Doom, Fallout 76, and some kind of unannounced title. And then shortly thereafter, we saw a server engineer job listing for 
or Bethesda Game Studios Austin, which also mentioned some kind of unannounced title. And actually that line where it said an unannounced title was removed shortly after the whole story blew up. Both of these seemingly being jobs around some kind of unannounced title having to deal with servers and multiplayer. Now perhaps this is connected to whatever the mobile title is, or Bethesda Game Studios Austin is just working on their own spin-off mobile game, but some have speculated that a soft Fallout 4 remaster could be possible, adding in co-op support to Fallout 4, kind of similar to what we got with Skyrim Special Edition of a lighter remaster, and that's what they're working on. That's why the server engineer and this online component comes into play. So although not quite Fallout 5, it would be a new single player Fallout experience in the next couple of years. Although at the same time, this could just be that mobile game. Something Bethesda does that I don't think is as well represented with other studios is, even though Bethesda has four distinctive studios under Bethesda Game Studios, and each of them almost have a certain specialty with the Austin people being more online focused, Montreal being more of a mobile dev, they all still work on all of the projects, like Montreal and Austin seemingly have worked on Starfield to some degree. So it could be very possible that even though Austin was kind of the Fallout 76 studio, since they had online experience, they were just helping out with whatever this new mobile game is, and it isn't actually a remaster, something new at all, just more work on a mobile game. Although that too could be a Fallout game. There's no actual evidence to back this up outside of numbers making sense, but it could be a sequel to Fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter Online is the current Fallout Shelter sequel, and despite Fallout Shelter being Bethesda's most played game of all time and the sequel coming out, it's actually exclusive to Asia, and made specifically with that market in mind due to the way it's monetized and just overall some aspects of its style is more appropriate for an Asian audience and probably wouldn't go over as well with a Western audience. But also considering just how successful Fallout Shelter actually was, and even still it does get barely regular sales and more attention than a lot of those other smaller games, like you barely ever hear about the Elder Scrolls card game, you barely ever hear about the Elder Scrolls Blades anymore, but Bethesda is fairly regularly tweeting about Fallout Shelter, mostly just sales, but still. So what if whatever this online project is, this unannounced title, is in fact just a Fallout Shelter online, but built from the ground up for the Western audience, or just something new entirely, a new take on the Fallout Shelter formula. Definitely not as exciting as Fallout 5, but still something with the Fallout IP. And as it stands right now, this unannounced title from Austin is a real mystery, whatever it ends up being. Obviously we know it has some kind of multiplayer functionality from the job listings and the LinkedIn profiles, but otherwise we don't know, is it a remaster, a mobile game, some kind of new larger project that's kind of going to be a spin-off from this studio or perhaps a couple of studios. One interesting theory is that this is a Fallout 4 remaster and it'll kind of be almost a test or kind of an expansion for Bethesda Game Studios Austin to become the Fallout studio. We've seen other companies do this where if they have a couple of big game franchises, they'll have a couple studios working on one and a couple of other studios under the umbrella working on the other so they have more consistent games coming out. Bethesda hasn't done that thus far, but certainly from a financial perspective, it could make sense for Austin to kind of form into their own thing around Fallout. Although granted, there's not really any evidence of that right now, it's really just speculation, and it actually kind of goes against the overall culture we've seen described at Bethesda thus far, with them being so interconnected. But then we have one of the leaked theories, and this one is actually super interesting to me, and that is that Inzile is working on a Fallout game, and specifically a Fallout game in Unreal Engine 5. A little bit of the background on this, we saw the studio head mention not too long ago that he is extremely excited for their future title, but it won't be shown off for a long time, and then we've seen other people mentioning that they are currently working on two separate games right now, and a lot of the speculation is that the second game is in fact going to be the Fallout game. And the core of this rumor does come from Dealer Gaming on YouTube, where he does talk about it in a couple of different clips, and here's one of the major ones. Two unannounced Unreal Engine 5 RPGs from In Exile, and I've heard at least one of them is Fallout. Yes, I've mentioned this multiple times over my own videos and podcasts. This was something I was told some time ago, and remember, Brian Fargo and company were the ones who actually built up the Fallout IP, eventually selling it to Bethesda, yes, when they were known as Interplay. He then ran off and started a different studio in exile, 
Now they are reunited with the opportunity to work on Fallout once more. Not so crazy sounding, huh? I'll have a link to that video and his channel overall down below. And although at first glance, you might just be like, okay, that makes no sense. One, why would Fallout be an Unreal Engine? That is very not Fallout. But also, who's this random guy on YouTube? Why would I trust a YouTuber for this theory? Well, one of the reasons this gets kind of interesting is he has predicted quite a few things around Xbox and Microsoft in the past correctly. The actual existence of the Xbox Series S, the May 5th event we had last year, the actual power of both consoles, how many teraflops they are. And watching a few of those videos, it definitely seems like he has inside sources to some degree just based on how often he's actually correct. So it's not like this is just some random rumor from somebody with no credibility whatsoever. And even further, he's mentioning it within a video. It's not like he's trying to get a ton of views directly throwing it in the title of a video or anything. But even further, something that also could back this up as it's from a total totally different source several months before this is we hear from Spunger. He's another pretty reputable leaker. He's talked quite a bit about Avowed as well as other things in the past such as E3, Microsoft, and even Nintendo. And he has had several correct leaks in the past. So it's not like this is just some random person either. And on the topic of what the games Inzile is working on, he says the first project is Chad Moore's baby. Still not sure about the nature of the project, but don't expect it before 2024. The second one is in its infancy and has some relation to the events in 2020. In 2020, of course, Microsoft bought Bethesda. Microsoft now owns Bethesda, the Fallout IP, and Inzile. So it would give the opportunity for Inzile to work on Fallout once again, these being the guys to actually create the Fallout franchise in the first place. So it would kind of be a big deal. And again, these seemingly are two unconnected separate sources. It's not like this was from the same podcast or a post where one was replying to the other. They just both happened to hint at something pretty interesting. So even if this is true, it seems like it'd be a way out they have to release this first game that is seemingly very ambitious first which i'm actually quite hyped for but we know basically nothing about so we may not even be hearing about this fallout project from them for a couple of years into the future but that would obviously be massive news and it does get me at least somewhat hopeful that something is happening with the ip it being an unreal engine 5 would be super questionable and interesting there's been some tech demos of fallout landscapes and unreal engine and they look cool but it would have kind of a different feel you have to imagine on a fundamental level. It's especially odd when Bethesda did just do a giant engine upgrade with Creation Engine 2, although since they're moving outside of Bethesda, perhaps there's some issues with the familiarity with that engine, but then again, that happened with Obsidian and they seem to do okay. But to me, this is a really interesting rumor that not a lot of people seem to be talking about, but also because there are these two sources saying kind of similar things, assuming Spunger is actually referring to this, which you have to imagine it is connected. There's also been some speculation or I think hopeful posting that Obsidian Obsidian is working on something, and although I've mentioned this in past videos, really I think the conclusion is Obsidian just has way too much on their plate to work on Fallout right now. They have avowed The Outer Worlds 2, two AAA titles they have to actually release and are likely still years away from release, but also in addition to those three smaller projects they are currently working on. They seem to have five projects in total right now. Does not seem like they have any room to work on a Fallout game. And of course, even if nothing I talked about actually comes to fruition, there's still the possibility of some some other studio within Microsoft coming in and doing something. Microsoft has a ton of companies under their umbrella. Somebody else could make a Fallout game or a remaster. I think a new game entirely seems very unlikely just due to the fact that Fallout is such a big IP and having some studio that doesn't have a relation with it work on it is just kind of a weird thing. I don't imagine that happens. But in conclusion, there are definitely several potential avenues where a new Fallout game could come out before Bethesda actually works on it themselves or even more specifically before the core or Bethesda branch works on it. Whether it be a remaster, a mobile game, or even a full-off spin on title, I think there's definitely a lot of possibility we see something else from Fallout in the next few years or so. But at the end of the day, this is really all speculation. I tried to keep it based in facts and even look a bit deeper at some of these rumors, but hopefully you guys found this one informative. One way or another, definitely seems like for the time being, for the next couple of years, the only actual Fallout content we'll have is Fallout 76. And hopefully under Microsoft and with perhaps additional investment from Microsoft, Microsoft, we could even just be seeing bigger and better updates from them. Their expeditions feature definitely seems pretty interesting. With that said, as always again, I thank you for watching. I hope you guys found this one informative, but until next time, hope to see you all later.